and continues to grow and, and be even stronger. And so an opportunity to play some of the best teams in the country and, and visit some incredible uh, arenas and fan bases. And so um, just a wonderful opportunity for our young women. How have you viewed the Big Ten over the last couple of years, whether you want to say it's from an opposing standpoint or from a West Coast perspective? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much fun to watch. I mean, obviously, you know, you have star power, you have team power. I mean, there's a lot of uh, really fun things happening in women's basketball and so much is happening in the Big Ten. Fun things happening in women's basketball. I think it's an understatement, obviously, what we've seen the last couple of years, the growth, the momentum, um, the fan base that this sport has probably never had before. How do we make sure that continues as some of these stars do move on to the WNBA? But certainly there are plenty left, especially this coming season. Yeah, that's what's so fun year after year is um, your young players continuing to grow and develop. I mean, even our, some of our current stars, um, their growth through the seasons um, that they had in their programs. Um, I think you'll see young stars emerge too. And so it's just going to be fun to see the new faces uh, continue to grow and, um, and continue to expand. For those who haven't had the opportunity to watch your teams play, what do you ask from them? What do you want to see when your teams are playing their best stylistically? Oh, great question. Uh, we just want to play a really efficient style of basketball. We love to play fast. Um, you know, we're a team that likes to shoot the three and split, spread the floor a little bit. And so um, it's a lot of fun um, to play in. It's a lot of fun to watch. So uh, excited to take the court this season. And I'm assuming that that style is also appealing and makes it a little bit easier for you on the recruiting trail? I hope so. I mean, we want to be a, a program that can develop professional players. And so I think the pro style right now is, is very spread offense and it's a fast and but efficient style of play. So I think it will be fun for recruits to play and that want to play professionally. I know you led Rice to the tournament, NCAA tournament in 2019, Washington to the WNIT Fab Four a couple of years ago as well. What does it take to make that next step at the highest level in Division I to get to the tournament each year with this level of competition and not just get there, but to win some games when you get into March? Yeah. Well, I think you see this is the first time in women's basketball you see people doing it really differently at different times. And so um, we chose to come to Washington. It's a high academic university with incredible uh, values and standards. And so that's the way we build our team. Um, incredibly smart young women, uh, very culturally driven, values-based uh, young women who work very hard. Uh, we're going to be a very great team that shares basketball. And so um, as we grow in our age even, uh, we, we recruited very young. We've had our third top 15 recruiting class, um, but we've been very young. I think you'll see us continue to get better uh, just as the teams at Rice did. I'm sure as the years go on, you'll get a better handle of exactly how you want to schedule, especially in the non-conference when you look at a league with 18 teams, you're going to be traveling coast to coast, obviously the current Big Ten schools, especially those in the Eastern Seaboard, will be doing the same. But have you thought about what the ideal scheduling scenario is from a coach's perspective with the new format? Yeah, we just spent a lot of time talking about that in meetings, and I think the, the smart thing to do is understand um, once we see what our schedule is going to be in the Big Ten going forward and travel, but we also just want to see where we are as a program and um, what might drive us forward competition-wise, and so um, each school is going to have to schedule a little bit for themselves right now. But it makes sense to flip a little bit about your travel, and so we'll probably try to stay more Midwest and, and West Coast, and then uh, that way it balances out in the future. Where do you put your program in terms of those who prefer the traditional recruiting method versus those who understand the need and the desire to go to the transfer portal more often and have a quote unquote ready made player available to step in immediately? Well, it's always such a blessing to join uh, young women on their journey of life. You know, our, our mission statement at Washington is, is becoming. We want to um, support, develop, and encourage young women on their own individual, um, you know, journey of becoming who they want to be as people and leaders and um, as players. And so uh, that's really fun process. But you also get to come along some people in their last year, the graduate year, our last couple of years, and help direct, uh, you know, where do they go, where they go in their future um, as well. And so it's a blessing both ways. Um, we do want to find people who fit the culture that we have in our organization. And so I think it's a blend. How as a coach do you define success? Do you set number goals at the beginning of each year or do you set kind of bigger picture goals and share those with your team other than simply wins and losses? 
I think we define success a little bit differently. We cast a vision for what we think we would like to accomplish as a team, but then our goal is the process. And so can, how committed can we be uh, on a daily basis um, to being the best we can be, you know, habit formation and um, just the way that we want to live our lives. And I think that helps us grow as just people of excellence, which helps us be a team of excellence. Finally, I know the official join date is still a few months away. Is everyone ready to kind of wrap their head around saying, yes, we are Washington, we are members of the Big Ten? We claim that, yeah, we're really excited about that. That's um, something we already, I think, feel uh, and are very excited about. So um, grateful to be in this league. Tina, welcome and thanks for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.